Well, hello there, you lovely people. I'm JP, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode. As you can see, there is a Missouri Fox Trotter standing right here, so you know what time it is. It is time for my top five favorite horses in Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode. Story mode, I was going to say online. No, story mode. Now, I'm just going to say this video and the Jurassic World Evolution videos were not uploaded Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because something very sad happened to me and my family on Friday, which I had time, I needed time to recover from, basically. I needed to process what happened. I'm not going to say what it is. It is very uh, personal, so I'm not going to say it. But, um, yeah, I needed time to recover. So, we are back. We're going to do the top five, the horses, as again, as they were, um, how, how I did it. I should say, in um, online, which that video went down really well. Thank you so much, everyone, who watched and liked that video. Um, it's going to go down the same way, so the horses aren't listed from number one's the best, number five's the worst. That I'm just going to pick them from whichever stable was nearby. I'll pick the next one. We'll talk about it, so on and so forth. Um, and again, these are my personal opinions. You can have different opinions. Leave those down in the comments. What is your top five? What Or what is your number one favourite horse in story mode or online? I do not care. I'd love to hear your guys opinion but let's go on to it as i've stated this is the missouri fox trotter the first one we're going to talk about now um this horse as you've heard me say in story in online sorry um i don't like but in story i love we're going to click on foxy uh so you can see the stats in the top uh bottom left hand of your screen this is the silver dapple pinto which you unlock at the end of the epilogue 2 i believe in the blackwater stable which costs $950, uh, no horse insurance, this isn't online. So for your four bonding, it's the same as it was online, nine stamina, eight health, really, really good end game horse. Um, speed, acceleration, matches that health and stamina as well. It's really, really good horse. And the main reason why I use this horse in story a lot is because I like the way it looks. I really love this one. I recently changed my Missouri uh, Foxtrot online to this one. Well, actually, I accidentally sold my other one because I was pressing X instead of A, and bloody by it went wrong. So I bought this version. I don't like it again in online. I just can't. I just don't know what it is. Uh, same with the Arabians. I just don't know what it is now. Um, but on story, they are, this is probably one of my favorite horses, which I use constantly. Um, very good in battles as well. Not not flinchy. Doesn't want to run away constantly. And good against wolves. I've noticed. So that's the first one. Let's have a look at number two. Okay guys, the second horse I'm going to talk about is the War Horse. Now I don't actually know the breed of this name, of this horse actually, uh, I shall find out today. Um, this is a horse you get for free in Chapter 2 if you get, I think it's the limited edition of Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, when the game first released, um, you got this for free. It's free in game as well, it costs no money, and here you go. This is Fearless, and we have a look at the bottom left. At 4 bonding, we have 10 health and 8 stamina. A really, really good horse for free early game. This is probably a really good horse for early game, Red Dead Redemption. It's the Iron Grey Roam. Uh, I didn't actually know it was that. That's that's something new. Um, really, really, really good horse for early game. It, it's a health tank, so you know with some difficult story missions, you can go in with this horse, you can take the shots, then you can get better at your gun skills and your horse bonding and stuff like that. A really, really nice horse. At speed and acceleration, obviously it's sort of like a work horse, something like that, big bulky horse. So obviously the speed and acceleration isn't the best, but it does have that eight stamina, which is really, 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 really good. So remember, you get this for free um, in the Valentine stables after you've done the Hosea hunting mission with the bear, you get this horse. You can unlock it on the Valentine stable. Make sure you don't get it mixed up, and let's move on to our third horse. Okay, the third horse we're going to talk about is one of the multiple Arabians you can now get in story mode. This is, I believe, the grey, rose grey um, pinto, something like that. We'll see in a little minute. Um, you unlock this horse at the same with um, the Missouri Fox Trotter at the end of Epilogue 2. Um, you get this horse for I think 900 possibly a thousand. I think this is a thousand fifty dollars for this Arabian So we have a look at Todd here and we see it at the bottom left He has full 10 stamina full 10 health. He is a, the rose gray bay Really, I love this horse. I don't know why the Arabians in story uh, Are really really good compared to their online versions. I don't know what it is You do not get this horse in online. I'm talking about the black and the white Arabian 
They just, they're not as good as Instorian. I don't know why. The handling on this guy is elite. Um, he is probably one of the fastest horses in story. Um, I really, really like it, especially with the, um, the orangey mane that you can put on it. It just looks so good. Um, I would say if you have the Tuckerman or maybe the Foxtrotter, uh, I wouldn't go for an Arabian. Um, something like that. Just just because I think the Foxtrotter is and the Tuckerman are sort of better than the Arabian. But if you're looking for a good, standout, perfect looking horse, which you can just strut around St. Denis saying, look how much money I've got. Look at my Arabian. He's so nice. This is the horse for you. There is other Arabians, especially the newest one, which was up in the new update. Um, a couple of months back in January, um, the, I think it's the Striped Brown Bay, something like that. Um, that is a really nice horse. I do have that level 4 bonding as well. Um, so this is another horse I do use if the uh, Missouri's out. Um, but I really, really do recommend this horse. And let's move on to number 4. Okay, the fourth horse we're going to talk about is the Appalazzo, especially the few spotted Appalazzo right here. I literally found this a day or two ago, so I've only got level 1 bonding with it at the moment, but we can predict its level 4 bonding stats. So we have a look at Snowy here. Uh, as you can see, we begin at level 1 bonding with 5 stamina, and I believe that is 4 health. So at the end of this process, you're going to get 7 health, and I believe 8 stamina, which is pretty decent. A really, really good horse. I just like the way this, this thing looks. I've w I waited quite a while for this, and I got it now, and it looks absolutely um, amazing. So you unlock this guy, I believe, all the free horses. This is a free horse you can find in the wild, which you can break for free. I believe you unlock them all after chapter 2. But I would just wait, um, get the other horses, like the um, roam, which was talked about. And maybe other horses like that. Use that horse until um, Epilogue 2 when you finish that. Then go after these guys. Just because I don't know when you specifically unlock the free horses. I just know certain ones. I do not know this one. This one spawns literally anywhere. I found this at a camp. I think just down from John Marston's um, house. And it was a camp. And I didn't know they could spawn at camps. I thought they spawned in Pacific areas where Apalapsos. Which I can say correctly now Apalapso. Um, I thought they spawned within their spawn points, but this one apparently doesn't. This one is a bit of a one which goes on a tangent and likes hiding from you. So that is the number four horse looking absolutely amazing. Let's get on to number five, shall we? And the final horse. And okay, guys, at number five, we have a thoroughbred. Now, this one is a really, really rare horse. This one you can only get at the beginning of epilogue one or the beginning of the epilogue. You get this for free if you go to the ranch, which you have to anyway. This is a free thoroughbred, and if you sell it or it dies, that is it. It is gone. So like Arthur's horse at the beginning where you rescue from the barn, and the Raven Black um, Shire horse you can get. Once they are sold, you can never get them back. So this is why this is one of my favorite horses. So this is Rachel. Uh, this is the Seal Brown Thoroughbred. Now, uh, at level 4 bonding, we have, I believe, 7 Stamina and 7 Health, which is fairly decent for the beginning of the epilogue. You just started out. You don't really have a horse. So this is a really, really good horse to start off with. A really, really nice looking horse as well. You don't see a Thoroughbred looking this nice, except from on online, if you get if you got like the premium pack or something. Um, you got that really nice red, red looking thoroughbred. But this is the um, story version, and this looks absolutely amazing. And it's a race horse, so it's really, really quick with that speed and acceleration. It is really, really good. So there we go, guys. Um, we do have some like nominations. If you don't like any of these, I do recommend, um, especially the Tuckerman. I recommend and the Buell, the free horse, the golden um, Dutch warm blood. Uh, which you can get for helping out uh, that, that old man with shooting some animals and stuff. Um, Buell is a definitely a good horse as well. Definitely think about getting him. Uh, but uh, remember, guys, this is my top five, so this is my personal opinion. Um, so I've hoped you enjoyed. Um, as I normally say, please subscribe, like, all over, dislike. I have now started streaming on uh, Mixer a little bit. I'm not going to go full ham on Mixer. I'll just stream from time to time, maybe 30 minutes long, stuff like that. Uh, so it's GPYT um, all together. Uh, look me up, follow me, and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, keep subscribing, like, or leave a dislike. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. 
and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I will do a Dress Up World Evolution video tomorrow. I'll see you guys then, and enjoy yourselves, and stay safe.